guys, I'm Laura Vitale, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you my take on sort of a Portuguese roasted chicken. We were in Montreal last fall, and we went to a Portuguese restaurant, and I had one of the most delicious roast chicken dinners of my life, and I wanted to recreate it here um, just to sort of give me the home away from home vibe. Um, by no means am I saying it's authentic. I don't even know what traditional Portuguese chicken is like, but from my memory and from a little bit of research that I did, this marinade is just phenomenal and we're gonna marinate it for a while and then we're gonna roast it on a bed of sliced onions and potatoes and it's gonna be phenomenal. I made this last weekend, I shared it on Instagram and everybody went crazy for it, asked me for the recipe. So, here we go. Let me run you through what you'll need. Let's start with the chicken. What I've got here is something called leg quarters, right? So it's your drumstick and your thigh, bone in, skin on, attached. This is the cut that was given to me. This is the cut that I like. It's substantial. Now, honestly, I think you can get eight servings out of this instead of four, because if you just cut the thigh and the drumstick in half, then you get two pieces um, per quarter, right? So. You've got your chicken here. I just trim off any excess fat and I just put a few slits in there so that the marinade can really soak in um, as it marinades. And then for the marinade, what you need is chili powder, paprika, smoked paprika, Italian seasoning, I know, but it works, a little bit of brown sugar. This is some hot sauce. This is just Frank's hot sauce. You need lemon, salt, garlic, and olive oil. All of those combined make for absolute magic. And when you roast the chicken, all the drippings go into the potatoes. And I am telling you right now, it is unbelievable. And I know you are gonna love it. So, everything kind of goes, actually, let me just do the lemon first, because this is just easier. You need about a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I do a stew right in there, make myself, make my life a lot easier. If you are Portuguese and you make a traditional classic, which I know, even in Italy, like even amongst my family, my mama makes sauce one way, my nonna makes sauce the other way. So there's really no like traditional, I guess it's, it's different to everyone depending um, how you make it, even all over the world. But I would love to know in your household, if you are Portuguese, how you make Portuguese roast chicken and how far I am from the traditional way to make it. So you have your lemon juice, you need some olive oil, about yay much. And I'm going to go ahead and grate in my garlic. Um, make sure, and I say this a lot when it comes to marinating meats, make sure that the container that you're marinating your meat is just big enough to hold everything in there, but not so big that the marinade's swimming away from the meat because then it does nothing for you. That's why mine's in there pretty snug. That's how I want it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grate everything in here. And you pretty much add everything in. The brown sugar, even though it's just one tablespoon, it gives good balance and also makes everything caramelize really nicely because we're gonna cook this at a high heat. And then a good pinch of salt. And you're gonna go ahead and give this a really good stir. Make sure you've got clean hands because you're gonna massage this whole thing really well in your chicken. So, add that right in there. Move my watch, give everything a good massage. And this is gonna marinate all day, preferably even overnight, um, but all day really does do the trick. Oh yeah, smells phenomenal. It's smoky, it's just fantastic. So you're gonna have to trust me. And you can probably do this with fi a chicken, or I'm sorry, with fish as well. I haven't tried it, uh, but I'm sure it would work. I don't particularly like roasting chicken breast unless it's like a whole chicken. Um, but if you are gonna be doing this with chicken breast, my suggestion would be that you either, don't look at my hands, that you either do this on chicken breast and then grill the chicken breast so that you prevent them from overcooking, uh, or you can just saute them, or you can do bone-in, skin-on chicken breast and then just make sure that you cook them to the right temperature because chicken breast does tend to overcook easily. All right, this is all massaged. I'm gonna clean my hands, wipe the sides of my container here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and let this marinade pretty much all day long and then I'll show you the next step when we go to roast it with our potatoes and onions, and it's so good. 
chicken has been marinating literally all day. What I have here are some thinly sliced red skin potatoes, any potato will do, and yellow onion. I've got my roasting dish here, any roasting dish will do. I love this one from Italy because I feel like it gets things a little bit more crispy and nibbly at the bottom. So. All you do, I have a little bit of olive oil on the bottom just so that it keeps uh, the potatoes from sticking. Now, the potatoes are not going to get crispy like you would if you were just doing regular roast potatoes because you're going to sit the chicken on top so there's moisture there. But what happens is the potatoes kind of absorb the marinade and it's just so delicious you can't even imagine. So I'm going to go ahead and do a layer of potato and then I'll do a little bit of onion and a little salt on the potatoes themselves. And then we will do another layer of potatoes with whatever potato is left. Um, if you wanna just do one layer of potatoes, by all means. But hey, why do you have one layer when you can have two? You know what I'm saying? Everybody loves a spud. Or at least that's just me. I love potatoes. You can't have enough potatoes. So there's one layer. Lovely. That's the last of my onion. Kinda sandwich the onion between the two layers of potatoes. Okay, and then you take your chicken. Now, as this cooks, okay, the marinade is going to literally drip right down in there, which we are going to spoon this marinade over everything, so do not worry. We would not leave it out, but as it cooks, it is going to mix with the flavor and drippings of the chicken and then that's what's gonna cook your potatoes and basically it's gonna like self baste itself and the potatoes it's pretty fabulous so 425 for about an hour if you take this out and you feel like your potatoes are sort of still swimming in too much juices let the chicken rest a bit and put the potatoes back in. I'll show you what it looks like after an hour or so, and then we'll, we'll go from there. I'll give me more tips and tricks. Gotta wash my hands now. My chicken looks incredible. I, I just took it out about five to 10 minutes ago. I let it cool just for a little bit, and it looks literally incredible, and it smells even better. And this is what I was telling you about the potatoes. Because they're sitting on top of the chicken, they're not gonna get crispy but they're kind of just sort of gonna caramelize around the edges. Oh, and they just soak up all the flavor. And honestly, I mean, I don't wanna say the potatoes are the best part, but they're pretty phenomenal. I mean, the bottom ones just get like that. See that? And then the ones up here just soak up. Mmm, the flavor. It's honestly to die for. You just take, you can serve one per person, or you should be able to cut right into it easily. If you just move your, making a disastrous mess because they're very, very, very hot. Come on, work with me here. There we go. Here's your drumstick. Here's a nice big thigh. I'm not describing myself. Look at that. The meat just literally falls off the bone. Super crispy on the top, oh, it's hot, 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 hot. let it cool a little bit more before you do this, if you're gonna cut it. Mm. That flavor is to die for and the chicken literally melts in your mouth, it's so perfect. Go to laurainthekitchen.com, get the recipe. I'm gonna promise you this will be the, your favorite go-to roast chicken for a while. Until we work on the next one. Flavorful. Easy. You're gonna love it. Learn the kitchen I come with the recipe. I'm gonna wash my hands. I'll see you next time.